In this video, I'm going to show you actual pictures from a customer who has installed the Bluetech 62 inch wide product. This is a new product that's available both in the 2 millimeter and the 6 millimeter thickness. First, a little background. This is a standard issue tubular steel building. Uh, dimensions look like it's about 20 feet wide by 40 feet long, and the framing is on 60 inch centers. Using Bluetech insulation to retrofit these type of buildings has been by far the most popular use. And two simple reasons. One, you're reflecting heat to keep the building cool. And two, you're creating a moisture or vapor barrier to reduce or eliminate condensation when the weather gets cold. This particular customer is in Utah. Um, so obviously it gets hot in the summer. This is a non-conditioned building, which means he's not heating or cooling it. So his primary objective in the summer is to just keep it cool, basically like instant shade or putting a tree over the building. And the foil side of the Bluetex, when it faces the metal, does exactly this. And I'll show you some temperature readings later toward the end of the video. Now the white surface on the inside is a vapor barrier. So in the winter, if you get some warm moist air, instead of condensing on the metal, now it's got a new internal surface that the moisture cannot condense on because that surface should be above the dew point. As far as the install process, it's super easy now with the 62 inch wide product. What you're gonna do is you're gonna run it basically up and down on top of the framing. Now the Bluetex on one side, on the foil backside, it has a peel and stick tape. So essentially you're gonna peel it and stick it to one side of the frame and then you're gonna pull it over and then you're gonna attach it to the other side of the frame with the screws and washers which we can provide. Finally, you're gonna go back and tape the seams with a three inch wide vapor barrier tape that we can provide also. If you watch some of the previous install videos, you'll remember that you need to install what's called a hard corner and we recommend putting some wood furring strips in the corner basically like you're doing drywall to create a surface that you can attach both the roof and the wall into. Now this customer did something genius. He actually ran the product up and down on the end walls up to that top tube. Then he came back with a single piece of wood and attached it through the Bluetex into the metal. And then he attached the roof part of the Bluetex on the bottom of that piece. Now what this does is it eliminates half the wood as far as creating that hard corner on the roof. We appreciate it when customers send us these great ideas from real world applications. So let's talk about his results and the results you can expect when you install Bluetex insulation inside your metal building. Now remember, this is a non-conditioned building. That means it's not air conditioned. So the best analogy is think of a car with the windows down, whether you're either parked in the shade or in the sun. If you're parked in the sun, even with the windows down, that car is gonna be unbelievably hot because of the radiant heat. Now, if you move that car a few feet under a tree with the windows down, that car is gonna be warm, but it's not gonna be deadly. And that's the concept of a radiant barrier. The foil side reflects 97% of radiant heat. So essentially it's putting it in the shade. And when we say shade, I'm talking about shade from the heat, not from the light. So the results this customer sent, he said it was about a 95 degree day and the inside surface of his Bluetex was reading 96 degrees, which is basically ambient temperature. In a building like this, that's about the best case scenario you're gonna get on a non-conditioned building. You're not extracting any heat by running an air conditioner. Now the outside side of the metal building was 163 degrees. So that just shows you the difference of how hot the metal is versus how hot the inside is. And this just shows how effective Bluetex insulation is at reflecting heat and keeping your metal building cool. One thing people never really realize or appreciate is the value of the comfort level inside the building. All the contents in the building are usually 5 to 15 degrees cooler than without a radiant barrier. So think about that. All your equipment, your shelves, your tools, even the concrete slab is going to be cooler. So that makes that building just feel overall a lot more comfortable. And that has a lot of value when it comes to comfort. For more information, visit bluetexinsulation.com and be sure to order your free sample kit. We want to get these products in your hands. They are significantly better than anything else out there and we want to prove it to you. If you have any other questions, you can send us an email or give us a call. Our technical staff will help you with any questions you have about your application. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and like this video. Also, please share this video with your friends or neighbors who might have a metal building that they want to keep cooler too.